Revelation 21 4 He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more, neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. Matthew 5 4 Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Psalm 23 4 Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Isaiah 41 10 Fear not! For I am with you, be not dismayed, for I am your God, I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Revelation 14 13 And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this, Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Blessed indeed, says the Spirit that they may rest from their labors, for their deeds follow them. Psalm 34 18 The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. 1 Thessalonians 4 13 to 18 V. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that ye may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by a word from the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will always be with the Lord. John 3 16-17 for God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Romans 8:38-39. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8:18. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory, that is to be revealed to us. John 10 27-29 My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. Psalm 116 15 Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Psalm 23 1-6 A Psalm of David The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Romans 6 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 14 8 For if we live, we live to the Lord, and if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. John 14 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. John 14 1-4 Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may be also. And you know the way to where I am going. John 14 1-3 Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may be also. 1 Corinthians 1542-44 so is it with the resurrection of the dead. What is sown is perishable, what is raised is imperishable. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. John 3.16 for God so loved the world, that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. 2 Corinthians 5 6-8 So we are always of good courage. We know that while we are at home in the body we are away from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we are of good courage and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. Romans 8:28. And we know that for those who love God all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. Isaiah 57 1-2 The righteous man perishes, and no one lays it to heart, devout men are taken away, while no one understands. For the righteous man is taken away from calamity, he enters into peace, they rest in their beds who walk in their uprightness. Psalm 55 22 Cast your burden on the Lord, and He will sustain you, He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Psalm 48:14 That this is God, our God forever and ever. He will guide us forever. 2 Samuel 12:23 But now he is dead. Why should I fast? Can I bring him back again? I shall go to him, but he will not return to me. 1 Thessalonians 4 13-14 But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. 
For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. 2 Corinthians 1 3 5 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction, with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. John 11 1-57 Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was ill. So the sister sent to him, saying, Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it he said, This illness does not lead to death. It is for the glory of God so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. Ecclesiastes 3 1-2 For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born, and a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted. 2 Corinthians 4 17-18 For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, as we look not to the things that are seen but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. 2 Corinthians 1 3-4 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction, with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. John 11 25-26 Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live, and everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Hosea 13 14 Shall I ransom them from the power of soul? Shall I redeem them from death? O oh death, where are your plagues? O oh soul, where is your sting? Compassion is hidden from my eyes. Ecclesiastes 7 1 A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of birth. Psalm 73 26 My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Psalm 68 20 Our God is a God of salvation, and to God, the Lord, belong deliverances from death. Revelation 1 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. Philippians 1.21 For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Ephesians 6.4 Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. 1 Corinthians 15.26 the last enemy to be destroyed is death. 
1 Corinthians 15.22 For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Romans 12.15 Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. John 14.3 and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may be also. Isaiah 25 8 He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces, and the reproach of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. Exodus 21:15 Whoever strikes his father or his mother shall be put to death. John 13:7 Jesus answered him, "What I am doing you do not understand now, but afterward you will understand." John 11:35 Jesus wept. John 5:28-29 Do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out, those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. Lamentations 3:31-33 for the Lord will not cast off forever, but, though he cause grief, he will have compassion according to the abundance of his steadfast love, for he does not willingly afflict or grieve the children of men. Isaiah 57 2 He enters into peace, they rest in their beds who walk in their uprightness. Proverbs 22 6 Train up a child in the way he should go, even when he is old he will not depart from it. Psalm 147 3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalm 35 for his anger is but for a moment, and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. Revelation 20:14. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. John 10:28-29. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. Matthew 5 1-48 Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Isaiah 54 4 Fear not, for you will not be ashamed, be not confounded, for you will not be disgraced. For you will forget the shame of your youth, and the reproach of your widowhood you will remember no more. Isaiah 40 31 But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. Ecclesiastes 9:5. For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing, 
and they have no more reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Ecclesiastes 8.8 8. No man has power to retain the spirit, or power over the day of death. There is no discharge from war, nor will wickedness deliver those who are given to it. Psalm 127.3 Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the womb a reward. Psalm 46.1-2 To the choirmaster, of the sons of Korah, according to Alamoth, a song, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea. Psalm 27 4-5 One thing have I asked of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in His temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble, he will conceal me under the cover of his tent, he will lift me high upon a rock. Psalm 18-2 The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Job 14.5 Since his days are determined, and the number of his months is with you, and you have appointed his limits that he cannot pass. Revelation 12.11 And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they loved not their lives even unto death. 1 Peter 1 3 9 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while, if necessary, you have been grieved by various trials, so that the tested genuineness of your faith, more precious than gold that perishes though it is tested by fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Hebrews 12:1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight, and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. 1 Thessalonians 4.13 But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. 1 Corinthians 15.52-57 In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. For this perishable body must put on the imperishable, and this mortal body must put on immortality. When the perishable puts on the imperishable, and the mortal puts on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. 1 Corinthians 15:25-26. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. 
the last enemy to be destroyed is death. Romans 8 31-39 What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died, more than that, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? John 14 1 Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. John 3 16-18 for God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. 